Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a courtesy of Pariah. Thank you so much. This is Snow Removal. Okay, cool. Um, this is it like winter inspired? I mean, I guess. I don't know when it was canned, but we're still in March, so. Oh no, we're still in February, sorry. <laughs> this will be posted in March, but it is the end of February, so. So what is this? Uh, snow Removal, Paisy IPA. Um, let's not read the tasting notes, okay? We'll see how that goes. 7.3%. Uh, very milky pale uh, color, like old to straw color. Uh, wonderful uh, off-white, light, lightly yellow kind of head on there. Hmm. Yeah, it smells like their beers. Um, there's always this kind of like, or generally, this kind of like marshmallowy, vanilla-y kind of tone to it. Um, it not only has this like light fluffy malt to it, but like it just smells like sweeter and which doesn't really make sense because like you can't really smell like sugar water, right? Um, it just has this kind of like confectioned kind of thing to it. Um, so it reminds you of like a uh, orange creamsicle. There you go. Uh, a lot of this kind of like vanilla, kind of a marshmallowy vanilla ice cream, kind of a um, white frosting. Yeah, white frosting. Like, yeah. Um, if, if you can combine white frosting with like, um, uh, again, like the whip, uh, orange concentrate, uh, mangoes, just like a lot of tropical and sweet citrus. So like ranging you know, yellow and orange fruits. And then with that, like kind of white vanilla kind of tone to it. Yeah. Very sweet. Um, I've been very tropical too. So it's just got this like, again, it's like almost like mango sorbet kind of thing. Um, orange creamsicle is like a very good descriptor. Cheers. <laughs> Yeah, familiar. Um, light graininess up front, a little bit of sweet malt character, um, fluffy mouthfeel. It has this kind of like astringency and like weird bitterness. This beer, for some reason for me, comes off. Oh, no, no, that's what it is. Um, this beer does have a little bit much of that kind of like green polyphenol thing attack. Uh, hits like half of the palate and like, or like a third of the way into the palate and just like gets a little bit heavy and then it's combined with chalkiness got a good amount of dry chalkiness going on and for some reason there's like um a, a noticeable kind of like a boozy element that hits like like as you drink it like there's a higher alcohol like sort of hit the nose and then yeah it has that like you know citrus tropical thing fluffy uh sweet mouthfeel but then it gets all puffy and on chalky on the back end i mean it's fine um, this is definitely less egregious than, you know, the worst examples out there. Um, definitely up the, you know, alley for a lot of people or up down or whatever. <laughs> this, this is up a lot of people's alley. Yeah. Um, for me, not quite, um, uh, very sweet. Um, but then it's combined with like, uh, is it very sweet? It comes off sweet. It just smells it. And then it's just very boozy in the middle for some, for something that's not even double IPA. And then it has a, a green polyphenol and like chalky thing going on. But, you know, not terrible. It's just noticeable. And again, like, hits a lot of the things I don't like in New IPA. So, uh, it's fine. Um, again, way, 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 way. Like, at higher thresholds, this beer is like undrinkable and like t terrible. Um, this thankfully, it doesn't reach there, but, you know, not for my palate. For a lot of people's palates, this is easily like a A minus A beer. For me, I'm very picky and also have preferences on this stuff. So, Eighty-four, sure. Yeah. Store removal from Pariah. Thank you so much. Cheers, later, guys.